Let's now add an Android application to our solution. We've already created the iOS application, it works and everything. Let's start with Android. Let's build that same application for Android. Now, since it's going to be the same application, it's going to do the exact same thing, why don't we just use the same solution? Remember how the solution can have multiple projects from multiple platforms. So I'm going to right click my solution, I'm going to click on that, and I'm going to click add new project. In here, of course, I now have to select Android. I will select Android app, and I will select Android app. Click next. This is going to have the same name since this is the same thing. So BMI calculator. And in here, I will select which platform are we targeting. Are we targeting maximal compatibility? It means that it's going to run all the way back to Android 2.3. Do we want this to be a modern development? It means that it will run all the way back to 4.1 Jellybean. I will select latest and greatest because we want the latest and greatest things in here. Of course, if you have an Android device that is uh, previous to KitKat or even previous to new things like Marshmallow, you could go all the way to maximum compatibility if you want to run it on your device. Right now, I will just leave the theme as default and I will not add Google Play services yet. I will click next, make sure that everything is the way that you want and click create. Of course, the project is the same. I need, I forgot to set BMI calculator dot Android. And I click next and now I should be able to create it without any problem. Now we have our BMI calculator dot Android project. And the first thing that we see is the main activity, which is not Java, it's C sharp, gorgeous C sharp. Now they has, this has some things that are required for a summary to work. In fact, this is actually implementing some summary insights and it has a button by default. We're going to delete it because we're going to be creating our own buttons. Um, and the first thing that we have to do is define the UI, just like we did with iOS. So back in our Solution Explorer, I will go to Properties, I believe, no, Resources layout and in here we have our main.axml file which will allow us to define the UI for our Android applications. And there we have it and there's the button that is created by default. I don't want it, I don't need it, I will delete it. What I do want is the same things that I created when I was on my iOS application. I want some labels and I can find it by labeling here. Let's, uh, I need texts. In Android there are texts, not labels. I will need two small labels. And I'm going to need a large label. Notice how this is start to stack up automatically. We're going to take a look at the code in just a second. Let's keep adding everything that we need. Now I'm going to need a text edit or I don't remember the name. Okay, these are text fields and I'm going to, go, to drag a plain text below the first small text and another one for the other thing, right? Height with weight. And finally, I need a button. I'm going to drag it above the large text and there we have it, everything that we need. Now let's click on source, go right here in the bottom and change from designer to source. And here we have some XML. And the reason why it stacked up is because everything is inside of a linear layout. So everything inside of the linear layout will stack one thing below the other. 
So we have the first small text. We have the edit text, which actually was edit text. I knew it. And we have another text view, which is a small text, another edit text, a button, and a text view, which is going to be large. Now let's change the values, and we can do it from here. For example, instead of small text, I'm going to set this to height. And we could do it from here, from the XML. Or we could head back to the designer and notice how the value did change. Uh, but we can select this and we can head back to text and change this from small text to weight. Just like this. And we can change this just to see how it looks to 21.5. And change the text on the bottom to something like calculate, calculate BMI. Like this. And my UI is quite ready. In the next lecture, we're going to add, just like we did before, the functionality. Hi, thanks all for watching this video. If you enjoy it or you want to learn more about Xamarin and C Sharp, make sure to subscribe to my channel. Also, if you want access to the full Xamarin course that I have in Udemy, I'll make sure to drop a very good discount in the description down below. Very good discount, you should check it out. So thanks again for watching and I'll see you in the next video or inside the curse. Bye-bye. That was good.